looking for some must-try Bangkok street food that has been listed in the Are you looking for some must-try street food from Bangkok that has been listed in the Thailand Michelin Guide? The most well-known name is Ron J. Fang, which is situated in Bangkok's Mahakai Road. There are very long lines and wait periods because it is the only Thai street food establishment to receive a Michelin star. You may always check out other Michelin listed. The majority hold the Bib Gourmand, street food eateries and vendors. Here are 20 street foods in Bangkok that have been listed by Michelin for those of you who would like to scroll through the list. 1. J. Phi. 1. Michelin Star Bangkok Street Hawker. In Bangkok, J. Phi is the only street vendor to have received a Michelin star. The restaurant is owned by a woman in her 70s known as Sister Mole, who is also noted for her recognizable oversized goggles. Tourists from all over the world travel to her restaurant to enjoy her dish because it was featured in the Netflix series Street Food. That implies that customers would arrive early, say, at 7 am or even earlier, or wait a long time for a table. The must-order dish is Thai Crab Omelette Kai Ja Pu, a huge roll of egg with lump crab flesh that is also fried over a hot coal fire. 2. Ja O Chula Favorite supper place with famous Tom Yum Mama. Additionally, Ja O Chula serves up a number of delicious cooked food options. Customers reportedly wait anything from 20 minutes to 2 hours in line. If not, you can reserve a table online through a variety of services and choose a fixed menu. If it is still a v a l b l, the signature dish of Tom Yum Mama is offered in pork ball, seafood, or all inversions. The serving is sufficient for two to three hungry persons to share. The Tom Yum soup base, which was pleasantly spicy, reasonably thick, and zesty with lime slices, simply tasted more enticing than normal. Three. Pad Thai Phai Talu, Dinso Road. Famous Pad Thai with Berkshire pork loin. Andy Yang, the Michelin starred chef behind the Thai restaurants Rong Tiam in New York City and Table 38 in Bangkok, has opened Pad Thai Phai Talu. He can make four different types of Pad Thai. There can be a tendency for lesser portions. Consider it a sign to sample several different plates. The noodles are distinguished by being cooked over an intense flame that covers the entire wok, allowing all the flavors to cook and permeate the noodles. Before the mixture of tamarind paste, fish sauce and palm sugar combines into a sweet and savory flavor profile for you, the smokiness is the first note you detect. 4. Rung Ruang Pork Noodles Popular Thai-style pork noodles with Tom Yum it wasn't difficult to locate the busy store using Google Maps, and M Quartier and From Phong BTS station are both within 8 to 10 minutes walking distance. Apparently, they had a disagreement and chose to split into two because of the similar-looking store next door. Tom Yum Soup, Tom Yum No Soup, Clear Soup, and No Soup are the only four basic types of noodles available. Then pair this with any variety of noodles, including egg noodles, glass noodles, thick rice noodles, and thick or thin vermicelli. Customers can choose from a variety of toppings, including a mixed bowl, fish ball and minced pork, pork chest, fish ball and fish cake, and solely fish ball. Pork tom yum noodles in this dish were excellent and spicy. With the addition of the spicy flavor, the combination of the chewy noodles, firm fish balls, and tender pork slices makes for a pleasant meal. 5. Here Hai famous for insane crab fried rice. When you get there, don't be shocked if there are several lines, those with reservations, take out and delivery. The insane crab fried rice, insane lump crab meat fried rice, signature omelette crab with rice, stir-fried mantis shrimp with garlic and pepper, giant river prawn, and insane crab with rice are all available, 690 THB per piece. Be aware that it often took around 20 minutes for the dishes to arrive. 6. Jock Prince Kanji Cooked Over Charcoal Eat Jock, also known as Thai Rice Porridge or Kanji, when you visit Jock Prince as early as 6 am. In Bang Rak, you can locate the Jock Prince restaurant on Charon Krung Road. It is directly across from Robinson Bang Rak and a short distance from the Levo Estate Tower. Pork Kanji, pork with organs, pork with egg, and pork with organs and egg kongi 
are among the available items 45 baht. For 5 baht, add a century A, and for 3 baht, add crispy Chinese dust sticks. The congee itself was smooth and gloopy, had a savory flavor, and had a smoky scent. It had been cooked over charcoal. You can garnish the jock with chopped spring onions, fresh coriander, and fresh ginger slices. 7. Lei Lao Izan cuisine prepared by Lei Lao is influenced by the gastronomy of neighboring Laos and Cambodia. It is not difficult to get to this restaurant. It is only a short walk from the Airy BTS station, just five stations from Siam. Somtum, 195 THB. Deep fried squid, deep fried oyster mushroom, 125 THB. Mixed steamed rice with crab meat, green mango salad with raw blue crab, and charcoal grilled pork shoulder are a few of the restaurant's signature dishes. The famous som tam or green papaya salad comes first in the signature meal. There are several options available, I counted seven, one of which includes raw black crab and crab roe. 8. Ong Tong Kaui Soy For the number one soup dish in the world, Kao Soy. One Tong Kao Soa, a Keong Mae-based restaurant, has opened a location close to Ari BDS station. It is also recognized with a Michelin Bib Gourmand. According to the owner's grandmother, the recipe of Ong Tong Kao Soy uses Chiang Mai imported ingredients. The Kao Soy with chicken, the stir-fried Kao Soy with northern-style sausage, the stir-fried Kao Soy with egg, and the grilled field crab fat served with egg yolk and sticky rice are Ong Tong's hallmark dishes. The Kao Soy Guy, 89 THB, was served with a fork-tender chicken drumstick and a creamy, rich, soupy sauce that wasn't unduly spicy. I particularly enjoyed how the crispy noodles added a variety of textures by absorbing some of the sauce while retaining a slight crunch. 9. Guy Jub Mr. Joe, known for peppery quay chap and the crispiest pork belly. Wei Jub Mr. Joe, which has received the Michelin Bid Gourmand, is housed in a large shop house on Chan Road. The Guay Jub at Mr. Joe's is clear and spicy in contrast to the Singaporean Kuei Chap, which uses black soy sauce as its basis. The bowls are made to order here, which is intriguing because you can customize them with different ingredients including crispy pork, pork, hog stomach, liver, and more exotic options like kidney, heart, lung, spleen, and tongue. When cooked, the rice rolls, which are referred to on the menu as Chinese pasta squares, roll up. Make sure you always have a spoonful of the soup with it because it has a bouncy yet soft texture. 10. Kuei Chap Yuan Fa Chana One of the most well-known names when discussing Kuei Chap in Bangkok is Kuei Jub Buan Pakana, which received the Michelin Bib Gourmand. Given how peppery and flavorful the soup is, I can see why people would like it. This would probably rate an 8 out of 10 if you had never had peppery soup before. In fact, I believe it can probably clear a blocked nose. On the other hand, I thought that it overpowered the naturally sweet flavors of the pork and innards. It's a shame because the crispy and juicy pork belly slices were actually rather good. 11. Arunwan Ekame's most famous pig intestine soup and crispy pork noodles. If you want salted vegetables and pig intestine soup, you should check out Arunwan. The people of Arunwan sometimes refer to the city as Tu Huan Ekamai, where Tu Huan is another name for pig intestines, and they provide swine offal in a variety of preparations. Pickled cabbage soup with everything 70 baht, which includes crispy pig, stomach, intestines, and minced pork, is the must-order dish. There are numerous different additions for their soup, but there is only one base. Choose from a variety of affordable boiling meat offal, including blood cubes, liver, stomach, intestine, and kidney. 12. Go Ang Kao Mung Kai Pratuna Hainanese Style Chicken Rice Kao Man Gai is available at Go Ang Pratunum Chicken Rice, which has been around for more than 40 years. Thai version of chicken rice that originated in Hainan, China. A tiny cup of rice with slices of poached chicken on top, garnished with cucumber slices, served with a side soup of chicken broth, and a small bowl of the black sauce make up the meal, which is sufficient for one person. The rice was flavorful, fluffy, and not overly greasy, 
in contrast to the more or less average quality of the chicken meat, in my opinion. 13. Jackie. Famous for Thai-style beef orphan and wanton noodles. This family-run restaurant is recognized for two dishes that also happen to be my favorites. Rad Na Nua, which is stir-fried broad rice noodles with chunks of beef, and Thai-style wanton mi. However, costs are thought to be more than the typical restaurant selling the same meal, perhaps up to twice as much for a few dishes. The Rad Na of stir-fried noodles with meat in thick, brown gravy is the highlight of Chaki. Choose from large flat noodles resembling hor fun, crispy rice vermicelli, or egg noodles all of which can be fried with a variety of meats, including pig, chicken, beef, prawns, crab, and sea bass. It was served steaming hot with broad flat and smooth rice noodles that had a very slight char on them and were covered in a Swedish brown sauce. 14. Yentafo Convent One of the best Yen Tao Fo Pink Noodle Soup According to rumors, the folks behind Yentafo Consent are related to the people who started the first Yentafo Wat Cake Market in Bangkok. The traditional Yen Tafo with the pink sauce and a plainer seafood and minced pork and soup are the two types of noodles available. Both are reasonably priced at 50 baht. There are four types of noodles available. Flat rice noodles, rice vermicelli, egg noodles, and rice noodles. Other than its color, the pink sauce soup's distinctive trait was that it was somewhat sweet and slightly acidic, making it rather refreshing. This is partially due to the base's use of sweet potatoes and tomatoes. The accompanying ingredients, which included miniature, springy fish balls, crispy wanton dumplings, soft pig blood curd, and crunchy kong kong veggies, offered a variety of textures. 15. Sanyet. Thai Cantonese eatery with delicious roast duck. Bangrak, one of Bangkok's oldest districts, is primarily populated by Cantonese immigrants who are renowned for their culinary prowess. In 1962, a Cantonese native father named Wu Chun Pei made the decision to create a food cart that would later develop into a restaurant and cook Cantonese food utilizing recipes from his family. Sanyad is a well-known restaurant today that serves delectable Thai Cantonese food and draws customers from all around the city. They visit this restaurant to sample the famous char-grilled roast duck marinated in a special sauce as well as other delectable Cantonese cuisine. Other prepared-to-order dishes include egg noodles, radna, fried noodles with gravy, roast duck, and noodles with a combination of crispy and sweet roast pork. 16. Sanguine Street Popular and hidden old-school Thai restaurant and modest Thai eatery called Sanguine Street has been there for a long time on Bangkok's Flown Chit Road. It has been operating since 1970, older than most of us, remaining traditional for almost 50 years while the neighborhood around it has grown. Its facade and interior design really scream antique, like a relic from the past. Most dishes cost less than 200 baht. You could order a variety of items because the portion sizes aren't too large. Daily featured dishes like Massaman curry chicken and green curry are available as specials of the day, in addition to the daily regular menu. 17. An Gui Tu Kua Gai Fried Chicken Rice Noodles with Runny Egg Gui Tu Kua Gai is fried rice noodles with other toppings like chicken and cuttlefish. It is dry because there aren't many sauces. One of the most well-known locations to eat this dish is An Gui Tu Kua Gai which is close to Chinatown in Bangkok. Air conditioning is another. Although there is an all-in-one combination of fried noodles with chicken, ham, squid, and runny egg, it also offers fried noodles with chicken, pork, ham, or squid. I enjoyed how smoky these noodles were, and the runny egg on top gave them a nice smoothness. 18. Thip Samai Pad Thai Pad Thai Institution with Long Lines it has been a favorite of both locals and visitors since 1966. While you're nearby, you might want to check out Ron J. Fay. At any given time, the line would typically be long and winding, with roughly 60 to 70 percent of the people in it appearing to be foreigners and the remainder Thai. The restaurant's front features the following areas in the kitchen. Two people were performing the initial frying, huge fire, large fire, over charcoal, a group of men were doing the assembly, 
and the one who was closest to the road was fry wrapping the noodles in egg in a bucket by the side, like clockwork. I selected the egg wrapped pad thai hawk hai gong sot from the menu. When you cut into the moderately thin coating of egg that surrounded the stir fried noodles like a pillow, it was almost like opening a chest of treasures. Although I might say that the pad thai on the platter was good, it wasn't particularly good. 19. Polo Fried Chicken Possibly Bangkok's best fried chicken. Being in business for more than 50 years, the Kai Todd Fried Chicken, seasoned with black pepper and topped with crispy golden brown garlic, is the main draw for most customers. Enjoy this dish with some tum and sticky rice. The spicy sauce coated in soft, meaty drumsticks was a flavorful experience that was difficult to forget. A Roy Mac Mac took the first bite. Well marinated, with some sections still dripping with oil, and juicy and delicious. But some of the chicken, particularly the breast flesh, seemed to me to be dry. As a result, it was split 50 50 its between good and average. 20. Core Panich Mango Sticky Rice one of the best mango sticky rice. Mango sticky rice is a common Thai dessert served everywhere in Bangkok, from upscale restaurants to fancy cafes that offer it in an Instagrammable way. However, some locations just stick out. One such location is Kor Panich, which has been operating since 1932 and is close to the Grand Palace. However, a portion of mango sticky rice costs 100 baht, even though you can get some elsewhere for for half this amount. Take a nibble though, and you'll understand why. Mangoes were incredibly sweet. The rice was sourced from Kiang Rai, a region renowned for producing some of the greatest sticky rice, and it was cooked perfectly, soft with the ideal amount of stickiness. We thank you for watching, and this concludes the video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to receive information on future videos. If you have any recommendations for upcoming videos, please post them in the comments area.